the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. So we've been telling you about the tales of when mm. we went to Sydney just the last weekend. Mm. Um, and uh, We're really milking it. We're only there for three days. <laughs> I know, but so many things happen. We don't, our show doesn't so get to go anywhere. Better. We don't get to no, go anywhere. Gonna get Other gonna. shows are travelling around the world. I yeah. mean, like, we, we, was, like, we got our passports ready to go to Piara Waters the other yeah, way. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, that was a big trip for us. So anyway, um, uh, Sean and I caught the same flight over and then afterwards we've been set up with a corporate Uber account, everyone. Mm. Very exciting. I mean, yes. you can choose whether we pay it for it or the company I'm does. pretty sure you're going to be locked out of yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that company. That's not going to last. Already tried it on Uber Eats, doesn't work. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I have never caught an Uber from the airport in Sydney. It's, mm, it's a just nightmare, been, by the way. Yes. It's a labyrinth. Their setup is place. terrible. So they told us to, um, uh, They said someone said, you know, you walk down there and then you go up and that's where you get your Ubers from, no worries. So we, um, me and Sean go, go that way. And it's, it's very confusing because sort of Ubers are driving in, they're driving around. You see car parks, you don't know how they're getting to that car park. And it says, it's says, like, pick up area A, there's big signs yep. say A, B and yep. C, but it, there's no yep. indication about which one you're supposed to be at. Yep. Like the no. Uber doesn't tell you and so you're just going, where am I supposed to be? It's super confusing and then um, uh, Sean spots our Uber, a Tesla by the way, uh, absolutely thrilled. We're very modern. Thrilled thrilled ride in it, yeah. yeah. And uh, the Uber's driving up and then from, I didn't really see what had happened. I th- Sean sort of waved to the guy and then from that point on, Sean and this Uber driver started arguing. <laughs> before, the ca- before the Uber driver even approached us in the car, they were arguing. That is true. So what happened? I was I was saying to Nathan, he's only two minutes away. Actually, I can see him. Yeah. He's just yes. coming around the corner. Because it, it's a real bottleneck to get into the Uber pickup area and they take forever. You're looking at the thing going, this guy's, they're not moving. Yeah. So Nathan and I were sitting, st- we were standing right where the car comes in and it was, goes over a bit of a crosswalk and an arm goes up so yes. it can collect its ticket and, go, and come yeah. in too. And Nathan's so right, we, did, we don't know whether to follow it and how it goes. Mm. So anyway, I saw the guy, so I gave him a bit of a gesture. And then he started flying his, flinging his arms around, <laughs> saying stuff. And, I, and I'm going back to him. What are you on about? You know, I'm going back to him. So what, what are you about? Guys, me for? I was dying. So he eventually pulls around. I go, geez, that didn't get off to a good start, mate. What's going? What's your problem? Or what, what was going on? Oh, you can't get in there. He was. Yeah. He was. He was talking yeah. about. Yeah. But I wouldn't take that. I, I wasn't oh, taking that, so was, I was just flinging stuff back at him left, right, and centre. It was so bad. Whose Matt? rating was at stake here? It was like uh, Sean's. <laughs> oh, I thought it was connected no, to the business. No, it was yours. <laughs> no, 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 no. But it's still connected to you because oh, you're the passenger. <laughs> yeah. So you and, and, and I'm just sitting, going, "Gosh, Sean, you're rating. I'm just saying stuff. Yeah, you were, you were, left, right, and centre. But I, I was so mortified that I found myself because I was really tired because the, the plane had been day. delayed, and I just wanted to get to the hotel. And I just thought this guy is going to either because the argument didn't stop. We put our luggage in there. Sean goes to touch the boot. The guy goes, the boot comes down on itself. Oh, itself. didn't he? I like as I go, Sean goes, well, mate, we're not getting enough food. Right? So you're right, having a bad day. Blah, blah. So then we get in the car. They're still arguing, both of them. And we're driving away. They're still arguing. I'm going, we're going to get dropped on the side of the road. Well, and you then have to deal did, with that. Didn't you? Because you well, said yeah, that. went to the wrong place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, so here I am in the back just trying to be the peacekeeper. And then all I could say to him was, <laughs> all I could say to him was, oh, I'm sorry, we're from Perth. <laughs> 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 to defuse the situation. <laughs> Because I wanted to explain, so we don't have an Uber thing like this at the airport. We've never experienced. I'm so sorry, we're from Perth, and that seemed to be when he started forgiving us. Because I right. think he might have heard it before. <laughs> <laughs> I think because so. I think that if or you just live his in Perth, the perception of Perth is that we're a, a hick town with with no sophistication, and therefore, well, um, uh, yeah. to be honest, like, I think a lot of people in Perth, when we leave the safety of our city, there are things out in the world we don't understand, and the only way that we can give an excuse to how we're dealing with it is sorry we're from Perth. I think it's happened. It did it worked. It did it did work. And then it diffused the situation yeah, sure. by the end of it, best friend Sean gave him a tip. <laughs> by the way, that comes out of your personal bank account. It doesn't come off the corporate thing, Bullshit. you know that? No. <laughs> If you, if you tip, really? yeah, if you tip, it oh. comes out of your personal oh. Uber account. What are you telling us? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, why did you tip him? So Sean sure, like bucks. tipped him ten thousand dollars. <laughs> so, the girl so. is right. We want to talk about this, right? So, you're from Perth, and you've hit a situation outside of Perth that has confused you, <laughs> and you've used the phrase "sorry, we're from Perth." <laughs> 
It has happened. It happens to the best of us. We're going to give somebody $300 to spend at Matilda Bay Restaurant. You can check out their wedding and event showcase on October 29. Register now at matildabayrestaurant.com.au. We've eaten at Matilda Bay. That's a good reason to be from Perth. No apologies there. Oh, yes. That's that's the best thing about Perth, you might say. All right, have you had to say, sorry, Sorry. we're from Perth. Sorry. I understand one, I think one of the first times as an adult I said, sorry, I'm from Perth, is mm. um, when I didn't realise the rules of the escalators over in the eastern states. How you stand on the left-hand left hand side, side if you're going to just stand there and you leave the right-hand side for, for walking. And people were furious mm. that I was in the right-hand side. Well, Nathan, in London, it's Fair the opposite. London, Nathan. It's what the do you opposite. Mean? You, stand, you stand on the right oh, and overtake on the point. left, which and makes no on, sense. Man. It's full yeah, on, Yeah, they there. will push you out of the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that was a, I'm so, sorry, we're from I'm Perth, because yeah. mum and dad didn't realise either and trying to get them over, because they, they, they need a four-hour explanation of what's happening, <laughs> <laughs> instead of just standing to the left. <laughs> Katie's in North Beach. Hi, Katie. Good morning. How are you? Great, Katie. Great. When did you have to explain away your behaviour by saying you're from Perth? So a couple of years ago, I lived in Melbourne and I lived in South Melbourne and I was driving to Hawthorne to meet friends for mm. breakfast. Yeah. So going through the city and um, just took like the right-hand turn as you do oh, and didn't no. realise it was one of those hook turns. <laughs> yes. And the pedestrians were like yelling at me and I was driving by and I was like, Sorry, I'm from WA. Read the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Read the plate. Read the plate. Read the plate. I mean, and you know what? As soon as you say sorry, I'm from Perth or sorry, from, I'm, I'm from WA, everyone goes, oh, okay. <laughs> and they I seem know. to have like an understanding. But then, but then I just kept going, driving like the horse on, and then I was like looking at my maps, and then the next thing I realised, I had these three trams behind me dinging because I was in the tram lane, not, <laughs> the, <laughs> not the driving lane. Those hook turns always got me. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, sorry, I'm from WA, read the place. Yeah, read the place. Katie, <laughs> <Right over, laughs> <right over, laughs> I was in a... Of course. Yeah, I was is. in a similar situation to you because I went to uni in Melbourne, so I was still on pay plates. Yep. And I <laughs> have been st- driving in Melbourne, and I reckon it was three weeks before I found out that if you're driving behind a tram, yeah. so the tram's in the middle, yeah. if a tram stops, even if you're on the inside lane, you have to stop because otherwise you run over pedestrians that are getting off the tram. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. I didn't know. So oh, I was well, kind of would you know that? undertaking yeah. for three weeks. How I didn't hit anybody, I'll never know. Oh, this is the thing. You've got to tell us. We don't have trams. Give us a pamphlet at the border or something. Yeah, no. (laughs) Things that Perth don't have. Look out for them. (laughs) Thanks, Katie. Dan's in Callista. Hello. Okay, guys. How you going? Good, Dan. Dan. Have you used the excuse of being from Perth for something? Yeah, so look, we uh, went over to Queensland, uh, Gold Coast first time over there, and uh, doing a fair bit of roughnecking, driving around, uh, looking at... uh, at the, at the site and uh, <laughs> come, come be sort of uh, rolling into a roundabout, which I didn't overly notice that well and uh, <laughs> didn't obviously give way to my right and um, tried to come, uh, come through the roundabout and, uh, and I saw him too late. So we, we, we touched bumpers and uh, and I knew I was completely at fault. Um, so I jumped out of the car and I looked at him and just put my arms up and shrugged my shoulder and said, oh, sorry, mate, I'm from Perth. <laughs> <laughs> like we don't have roundabouts here. <laughs> did that, did oh, that, that, that excuse fly? Yeah, well, that's exactly what he said. He goes, doesn't Perth have any roundabouts? I went, oh, well, yeah, well, look, we do. But then they're, they're just different size. <laughs> <laughs> We've never dealt yeah. with this exact size roundabout in Perth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how are you supposed to keep your eyes on the road when you're driving past movie world? Sea I know, world, so world, many world. things to see. <laughs> Meet a mate. Oh, come on. Oh. oh, too funny. Thanks, Dan. You're right, Sean. We've got a couple of people there that have had to apologise for being from Perth. Yeah. What are you going to give? $300 to spend at Matilda Bay Restaurant. Check out their wedding and events showcase on October 29. Not far away. Register now at matildabayrestaurant.com.au. Great calls, both of them. Katie's going to get it, though. Those hook turns. Hook turns. The trams. Check the plates, man. Check the plates. It's the greatest excuse of all time. It's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Get your opinion on the situation that I saw unfold yesterday at the shop. Oh. It's always good to, you know. You've know, you got to keep an eye out, don't you? Check yourself before you wreck yourself sort of situation. Really and I was buying some fruit yesterday because I thought I'm going to be a person that eats fruit. 
Oh, just now? Mm. Just starting no, now? No, I thought about it the night before and I went, oh, my mm. God, fruit salad, yeah. <laughs> so, yummy, 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 yummy. yummy. <laughs> <laughs> so I got, like, some, like, some uh, various apples. Um, you know those brown pears? The yes. ones that aren't green? And no, brown. I won't do them, yeah. I love those, yes. Yeah, so I've got those. The, the, oh, what's what's like the brown a... paper bag version of a pear? Yeah, you know, yeah. what's that? What apples are in season at the moment? Because I'm very picky. Fuji is in season. I even Googled Ex- fruits in season. Oh, did you? Good on you. I did not. Berries, berries are very hot yes, right now. Yeah, I wanted watermelon, but watermelon is not. Blueberries, everywhere. Blueberries. Blueberries. The price and of blueberries is oh, good now. Dramatically strawberries. Mm. Two fifty. Which is where we come to, Sean, to the strawberries. Good on you, mate. Two dollars fifty for a punnet for mm-hmm. two hundred and fifty mm. grams. Bargain. Yep. Mm. So I'm there um going through there trying to, you know, find one that, you know, isn't bashed within an inch of its life. So on that, because I was doing the same yesterday too, do you go for the punnets with the big ones in there? Because it's obviously on weight. Sure, so I, some... I like, a, I, yeah, I'd like to, I like my size of my strawberries to vary. Okay. So yeah, I don't want just three giant strawberries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> you know those yeah, ones? Yeah, 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 no, we yeah. know the one. Yeah, so you need a mixture. But it is exciting to have a big one every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Nat. Oh, Isolate God. that. Things you say that they're going to cut up and Isolate that. <laughs> uh, anyway, but this is where things got a little bit weird. There was a woman there as well looking for the perfect punnet of strawberries. Mm-hmm. And she proceeded to open up no. punnets and take a strawberry no. out and sampling it. And then giving me this smile, you know, the no. cheeky grin smile. Like, <laughs> like, I'm being naughty. But, like... And so yeah, she, she she bite into she, one. She, yeah she bite into one. She got like that, and then she, well, like, now, then, then she the... would then she would like shake her head and go no, and close that punnet, and then go to the next. But that punnet. means all of those. Thank you. Are no longer have two hundred and fifty grams. That's that true. is my point. That's true. That's you stealing. can maybe do that with a grape you or can't... like a sneaky nut here and there. If if something that's being paid for, but. but... That comes as it is. Yes. If it's in a container, you can't open the container. You can't even move them around within the container. So she was there before I got to the punnets, right? And then she had obviously done it because I opened up a couple of them and the lids came off really easily and they looked like they were missing a strawberry. And that's why I think yes. she probably did it to about five or six punnets before she chose her punnet, which was unopened and full, and left. And I was like, what was the sample no, of that this for? Woman's because a all this, you trying that one strawberry in that punnet doesn't mean the next strawberry yeah, in that punnet right. is going to be the same. You yeah, can't 100%. judge the punnet by one strawberry. That is famously. Yeah, is that a theft. crime? Is that a crime? That's a crime. That's a crime. That's, crime. Crime. That's, crime. Mm-hmm. That's crime. crime. No further debate required. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. New series, season three indeed, of Question Everything. It's back on the ABC tonight at 8.30 and the host with the most is, of course, Will Anderson. Welcome back, friends. Oh, I will. Thank I you will. so much. Th- thanks for having me. It's always Thank nice you. to talk to you. Like, I specially cleared my background yes. today. I know, uh, really just, that's uh, good. I know. Sorry, sorry about that, Nathan. I really, I know that you usually just like to see what's going on in my background. Yesterday, I was virtue signalling. I was doing some <laughs> press, and in my background, I had uh, the washing hung out on a, you know, like a clothes horse. I'm yeah. like, look at me, caring about the environment, not using the dryer. I'm not on social media anymore, so that's the only way I can boast about how good a person I am. So look, look at this clothes horse, guys. But then it rained, so I put it in the dryer. Oh. <laughs> I've not had a clothes line for no. Most I don't of have my one adult, adult, adult Do you line. have a clothes horse? I, thing? I, yeah, mm. an apartment clothes horse. Mm. Yeah, it's mm. different. Well, well, you chuck stuff in the dryer and your t-shirt. You just got to keep changing them. The lady at the shops gave me a massive lecture last week. Oh, that it ruins the clothes. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Will. Really? Like, they're not selling you clothes that you can dry now? Is that the new... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she said, don't, oh, no, put a, don't peg them yeah, up no. either. Well, Sean, well, you Sean don't shops want to be... damp <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't, you don't want to be washing this, mate. No, not the, not your clothing. You don't want to wash this. You wear it, done. and you come and buy another one. <laughs> That's what you do. That's rocks. our business model. Yeah. Smash yeah. it over the rocks down at the river, and then just chuck it That's on actually a, a really good business dry. model, isn't it, to convince people, no, this is only one wear only. I always love that with jeans, where they're like, oh, no, what you don't Want to, you don't want to wash your jeans. You want to put them in the freezer. You want to bury them in a yes. graveyard at midnight yes. for six weeks. That's the only thing that will get the stains out. But if you're not doing that, we can't help you. Yeah. If you're Who washing your jeans, yeah. then well, they're going to fall I've, apart. I've, I've heard this so is the often, thing, but though. who's ever done well, it? Sure. Have you ever done it? Well, um, no. No, no, no. But you've all, we've all got that mate that you've been out with on the weekend. You go, he needs to wash his jeans. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, there is no freezer in Antarctica that is going to do anything to that denim. And certainly if you put them in there, you don't want to eat the ice cream. Oh, yeah. That's the guy who's gone past the 24-hour coals at the end of the night and just whacking him in the deep freeze for a couple of hours. 
Hey, Will, before we came on, we're having a bit of uh, technical difficulties, and I was mm. wondering, is that just always our end when we're speaking to you? Because we have a bit of a battle, but you're doing a lot of this, these Zoom calls, so h- how often is it happening when you're trying to connect with people? You know what I love about uh, like Zoom technology? Any technology that involves a radio station, it's much like the <laughs> capture are you a robot test on the yeah. internet where every time it gives you a new set of scenarios, it's like every time the way you did it last time, they're like, oh, that's not how we do it anymore. <laughs> no, it's changed. <laughs> it's changed since yesterday. I know you're plugging all the same things and touching the same buttons, but it doesn't work like that anymore. <laughs> are your jeans in the freezer? This will not work unless your jeans are in the freezer. <laughs> Take your pants off right now and whack them in a the freezer. That's right. Harry, our panel op is giving you the thumbs up. He yeah. wholeheartedly agrees. Mm. Mm. It, it, it is one of those things I love about this modern technology is that, like, I love that we get to things where they work well enough mm. and then we're just like, okay, but we, we all know how they work if they're working. Yes. But the minute they don't work, you're like, I don't know, I guess we're going to have to turn it off and turn it back on again. <laughs> That's, That's, what, we did. That's what we did. That's what we did. I will. I don't know if you know this, but um, you, this is the first time we've spoken to you since our um, our uh, award loss. Our failed accurate oh, attempt. Mm, yes. Mm, mm. Uh, what, what award did you lose? We were up for... Um, what were best, on <laughs> what were we? yeah, uh, best on Air Team. Yeah, Best on Air Team at the ACRAs. First time we've yeah. ever been nominated for anything in 20 years and... Didn't win. We lost. Well, they, they say you've got to have that loss, though, to get you hungry. Isn't sure. that right, Sean? Like, well, I mean, that's I how you. So. Well, I, I, that's well, how you get that real taste for it. <laughs> yeah, and, and you are very hungry. I'm that's starving. what I've heard about I'm you. <laughs> well, we, well, we haven't been fed in 20 years. <laughs> but hey, we're, Nor does it look like anything left on the buffet. <laughs> we're, we're, at this, we're, at, we're at this event, right? And so none, we had no expectations, no expectations, oh, no. right? But, but as the night got on, everyone was saying to us, like everyone was saying, oh, they got a, you're going to win. You're gonna I win. think you're what they win. meant was they want us to win yeah. rather than that you're going to win because there's a big difference in my mind. Do you know what I mean? And, and then, Also, did, did the people who won the award, were they there? Were yes. they there to collect it? They were. Oh, yeah. that's okay. Because mm. yeah. I think any of those nights when the person who wins the award is not there to collect it, mm. I feel like it's open slather to the rest of the contenders to have another vote. <laughs> like, just in the room. Like a redraw situation at a... I just would have said, show of hands, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. you all work in the industry. <laughs> yeah. Let's sure. just put this on the record. Show of hands. <laughs> who do you think? We'll all get up here. All the teams should get up there. They do that clap thing. Oh, yeah, they do that's it yeah. in sports. Yes. Yeah. Where they just behind everybody's yeah. heads and they just line you all up together. That's a great well, idea. One of the funniest things was um, they uh, had a, a, a picture of Kyle Sandlands come up with an apology oh, saying yeah. Kyle cannot be here tonight because he's filming mm. Idol and then they had a shot of Ricky Lee sitting at the table behind us who mm. also just finished filming Idol. And was in the room. <laughs> and was, was in, in the room. room. <laughs> I mean, it's weird that they think you have to apologise for Kyle not being here. That feels like a bonus for me. <laughs> <laughs> Real selling point anyway. in the evening. I'm, I might have come along if I'd known that one. Yeah, yeah. So, so it, it, it hasn't. Been, our streak of being, you know, the most unnominated and unawarded show well, unawarded, in Australia. Yeah. We've been nominated, but yeah, we oh, haven't now, been awarded. Yes, yeah, yeah. Is, is now you know that that's still mm. intact. Yeah. You, you would have gotten a few awards. Go through some of your awards you've won. Will talk. To really? Us. Is yeah. that what we're doing this yeah, morning? Yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah, going to list the awards that I've won. What have you won? What have you okay. Got? Well, I mean, do you, like I mean, like a couple of years ago, I won best show at the Sydney Comedy Festival. Oh, for my yeah, big, deal. Yeah. big deal. Available on ABC iView. <laughs> won the Director's Award at the Melbourne Comedy Festival. <laughs> they won that. Won a Helpman Award. <laughs> won myself an Actor Award. <laughs> a Logie Award. I'm the six times People's Champion at the uh, Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Oh, yes. And, of course, in year 11, I was awarded Knob of the Year by my <laughs> high school friends. We've uh, seen, the, we've we've seen, seen the your trophy. knob. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you've seen my knob. That's right. <laughs> 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 Nathan spotted that knob. That's He's right. quite good I'm at it. Immediately identifying any knob in a room. (laughs) 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 Hey, Will, I just saw you also belted out 300 episodes of Willosophy. Was that 300? I did, it's true. 300 episodes I've done. Good to have it back, Will, I've got to say. Thank you. It's mm. been um, fun, actually. I've just uh, pivoted to only talking to, like, you know, comedians and stand-up comedians, and it's just been the most fun because it's enabled me to talk to people from, like, overseas, uh, uh, like, you know, people I love, like Jimmy Pardo, who's a yes. great American comedian that I love for the 300th. But I had Adam Hills on for the 301st. No, that, was, that, most that people... was like Inception because everybody, of course, think that you and Adam are the same person. Yeah. So it was essentially I, I, you talking I was... to yourself. 
I was a little worried that I was going to listen back to that episode and it would just be me talking and then silence and I was just imagining <laughs> what the answers were and it was going to be a real fight club meets velocity situation that I was going to discover. But two separate people, you can see oh. it. But what I love also is I get to talk to a whole bunch of new comedians, emerging yeah. comedians, people on the way up that people might not have heard about yet. Like, you know, Western Australia's own Brett Blake is one of my favourite yeah. recent episodes. He tells this incredible story about an incident he was involved in in Western Australia when he was a kid and it's like one of the most compelling episodes of his philosophy I've ever done. So, awesome. um, yeah, no, I loved it. Hey, Will, um, everyone right now is just dissecting what happened with the yes vote um, or how it turned into the no well, the vote. The no vote, yeah. Um, and, you know, yeah. they're, they're saying how we got there and the mistakes that they did with the marketing and all that sort of stuff. What's your opinion? Well, I mean, I, I work for the ABC, so I have to be incredibly uh, balanced about this. In fact, the ABC took the balance so strictly that I voted yes, Adam Hills had to vote no. <laughs> <laughs> B1 voted yes, B2 voted no, that's weird. But a progressive no, B2. That's, what about uh, what Jemima B2 and Hamble? Who, who <laughs> Hamble, Hamble is a no voter, Jemima was a yes. Uh, yeah. Mr Squiggle, uh, yes. swinging voter, of course. Uh, uh, anyone can pull his strings. He, he bubs, normally votes above the line, but if you turn it upside down below the line. So, a lot of ABC politics going yeah, on. But yeah, tricky. The, I mean, the truth of it was something like this is that it was always stacked, right? Like th there hasn't been, I think there's been one Labor-led uh, like referendum out of 26 that is has not been bipartisan that has ever got through. So the yeah, odds yeah, were right. stacked against it ever yeah. going through if you look at it in that sort of way. If you were at a casino and 25 in a row hadn't come up and you were like, this is my lucky one, <laughs> people would be like, you know what, he's going to yeah. be broken in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, what's my the favorite thing about the voting was you yeah. weren't allowed to wear the like slogans into the elect, like into the voting booth. Did you see this story? No. You weren't allowed to have a political slogan on your t-shirt because it, when you're in the booth, people could be influenced by that. <laughs> and I love yeah. the idea that you've had like six weeks of the campaign, Correct. all the ads, all the commentary. You've walked past all the people giving you how to vote, and you still haven't made up your mind <laughs> until you just look at someone wearing an Optus t-shirt and go, "Okay, yes, I guess." <laughs> I'm going with you. <laughs> oh, I've just got a Too vision. Funny. I've got a vision when you brought up um, Jemima and Hamble of um, mm. of of the um, voting at play school, <laughs> and then walking in and them putting their paper down and Bill uh, was the blackboard telling them to hurry up. <laughs> but <laughs> straight away, up. I would think that Hamble would be the one that would vote no. Don't you think? Mm, yeah, yeah. It's just that Hamble's got that no vibe. You know? Yeah, yeah no Hamble vibe. has always had yeah. that no vibe. Mm. Jemima's always yeah. been really approachable. I mean, it's the big big <laughs> Ted, little Ted thing too, isn't it? Big Ted yeah. definitely no, no vote. No, and little, little Ted, Ted promote progress. Yeah. More progressive, yeah, younger yeah. generation. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's how it tends to work, right? You yeah, know? <laughs> that's right. But the, the ABC just won't move out the big Ted's of the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, question everything. What's on tonight? What can we look forward to? Uh, basically, we are the show that reads the whole article. You, we know you all just read the headlines, yeah, and yeah. that's okay. That's fine. But what we've discovered on our show is that, like, if you look up, uh, beyond the big letters at the top of the article and read some of the smaller letters, they will often tell you that the big letters are full of crap. <laughs> and yeah. the big letters are misleading you. They yeah. are telling you a lot of lies to bring you in. So we're going to look at the entire week of news and tell you what really went on. And some ripper guests, Nate Valvo, who's one of our favourites. He used to work at Nova many years ago. Love Indeed. Nate Valvo. Yes. He's so funny on the show. He admits a crush he had on Jafar from Aladdin, Aladdin. when he was growing Aladdin. up on the show tonight. <laughs> and Joe <Jordan> and Hickey <laughs> so, as well. He's a ripper. Oh, so, so funny. Good. And Alex Lee. It's Alex a, an all-star yeah. panel. So, uh, yeah, no, it's a really funny show tonight. Get Eight, on you, Will. 8.30 on, uh, as Sean would call it, Channel 2. Channel 2, mate. Watch Channel the two. winners. The winners will be after it. <laughs> yeah. Or Channel 2 iView. Yeah, Channel 2 iView as well. If you're calling it Channel 2, you're not going on iView. Um, thanks so much for talking to us, Will. I will. Thank you. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.